Can you believe this, YouTube? I thought when I got back to Montreal, it would be spring. I thought the birds would be chirping. I thought the snow would be gone. I thought I'd be wearing a t-shirt. But if there's one thing I've learned in my short time on this earth, it is to never underestimate the power of Canadian winter. I woke up to uh, to this. It's actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good snow for snowballs. The nice sticky stuff. Wet snow always makes it easier to uh, to make snowballs with. And as you can see, this is very wet. It's actually raining at the moment. After a few hours of uh, snow, it's just kind of turned into freezing rain. But nevertheless, I thought I'd take you on a little walk and just show you some scenes of Montreal in the winter. Of course, the only problem with wet snow is you occasionally get giant puddles like that, which can be very dangerous to uh, people who like dry socks. The thing about Canadians is I would say we have a love-hate relationship with winter. We all love to complain and grumble when the weather's bad. But at the same time we all do like a good snow day, I would say. By the way, that's an interesting uh, piece of artwork. That must be new. I've never seen this one before. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let me give you an example, you know. My hometown, Winnipeg, just got hit by a uh, enormous... Well, okay, so here's what happened. They were calling for basically two feet of snow over the period of 48 hours, like between two and three feet of snow. Like it would have been the most epic spring storm in Winnipeg's history other than what happened in 1996 and in 1996 there was a storm so bad that uh when all the snow hit you know it was record breaking and then all the snow melted and it caused huge flooding and a bunch of people's homes got destroyed they called it the flood of the century so that was like that was 25 years ago and this storm they were saying could be as bad as that one. So people were really prepared. People were like stocking up on supplies. People were like ready for power outages and just chaos all throughout the city. Schools got canceled, everyone stayed home, you know. And then what happened was, I mean, it snowed, but it just, it wasn't as bad as people expected. There was like maybe a foot of snow over the period of two days, which <laughs> in Winnipeg is just kind of like a typical day, typical couple days, you know. And what happened? People started to complain about like where's the blizzard? We wanted a blizzard. We were ready for a record-breaking blizzard, but it didn't show up. So in a strange sense, Canadians will hate winter, but also be disappointed when a big blizzard doesn't show up. It's like, "Come on, we were all ready for a big blizzard. Like what the hell?" So uh Definitely some love-hate type stuff. Maybe we have Stockholm Syndrome as a country. We all just uh, accept that the winter is our master and we just have to uh, live with whatever punishment it decides to inflict on us. Let me take you into the park. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Let's see if I can hit that tree. Right down the middle. Still got it. 
still got it. All right, YouTube, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you are nice and warm and toasty wherever you are watching from and you are not getting snow in the face. It actually just started snowing again. The rain has switched back to snow, so uh, who knows? Maybe we will have an epic storm of our own. I mean, I definitely didn't expect to have this amount of snow on April 19th. But as I said earlier, Canadian winter, you never know what you're gonna get.